Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept that is creating hyperlinks. What is this creating hyperlinks? We have already discussed about the full form of the HTML that is hypertext markup language. So that means what is that one? So the language which provides us to navigate from one document to other document. So then those documents are called as hypertext documents. The language supporting for the hypertext documents is nothing but hypertext markup language. Now the documents, so when we are having two documents, so within the document itself, we, we need to navigate from one document to another document. So how can we navigate like that one? So previously we need to close this first document and we need to open the second document. But, but in this hypertext markup language, we can click on this first document wherever we want and that will be moved to the second document. So those the type of scenario and the type of feature is provided with the help of hyperlinks. So these are called as hyperlinks. So what is the use of these hyperlinks? Let's try to see. Hyperlinks are really important. They are what makes the web actually a web. So this is the main main meaning of this one. So this makes the web really a big web. If hyperlinks are not there, means so the web doesn't exist. So these those are just documents itself. Hyperlinks are one of the most exciting innovations the web has to offer. They have been a feature of the web since the beginning and, and are what makes the web actually a web. So hyperlinks, hyperlinks what they are trying to say is, so this is the feature which exists since the web, in, uh, web starting onwards. So this hyperlinks concept. Hyperlinks allows us to link documents to other documents or resources link to specific parts of a document or make apps available to a web address so this is the main usage of this hyperlinks hyperlinks allows to link so it means to link means to navigate documents to other documents or also resources like files pdf files images or anything or also we can also link uh, we can also navigate to the specific parts of the document so if you want to navigate to the same document to the specific part means we will be also using the hyperlink and also we we'll, uh, and also these all apps are available making available to a web address so that means these are all the documents it will it will make available with a specific address so this is the main usage of this hyperlinks a basic link is created by wrapping the text or other content inside an a element so now how can we create the hyperlink the hyperlink the basic hyperlink is created by wrapping the text the text whatever the text you are having in the article or anything in the paragraph so uh, some part of the text we can wrap it inside an a element a element this is the new element a element so we need to wrap it inside an a element and we need to use the href attribute so this is the attribute this is the first attribute for the a element so any text we need to wrap it with the a element and also we need to use the href attribute so what is this href attribute this href attribute is nothing but known as hypertext reference so this full form is hypertext reference some people may call it as a target that contains the web address so here the basic notation for creating this hyperlink here we are having a paragraph element and in this paragraph element we are having a text something like i am creating a link to the google home page so this is the text we are having and now i am creating a hyperlink to the google google home page the text some part of the text the google home page text i am creating hyperlink how can i create i need to wrap it with the a element like this a and a and closing open opening and the closing tag and we need to have an href attribute and this property takes the value and this value takes any specific website website address so any address or anything so we'll try to see what is the value of this what are, what are the types of values that href will accept we'll try to see it so this is the href Another attribute you may want to add to your links is the title. So we have learned about the href attribute and another attribute you want to add to your links is the title. So title is also another attribute you need to add it. The title contains additional information about the link. So the title has uh, contains the additional information. If any, if any information you want to provide to the anchor link means you can use this title attribute such as which kind of information the page contains or things to be aware on the website as mentioned before almost any content can be made into a link 
so i have told you that almost any content any text or any content we can make a link or even the block level elements also something like para- entire paragraph element we can make it this uh, uh, like this or image element is all the elements we can make it if you have an image you want to make it into a link use the anchor link anchor element and reference the image file with the image element so we can also use it for the image element also so like this it will be so for if you want to mention for an image image tag so here you will be having like this so we need to wrap the anchor element with the uh, in the image with the image element and here the anchor with href so like this we need to give it so now let's try to see the practical implementation how we can create an hyperlink for how, how can we create hyperlink in the html now here i am creating a new file links.html okay so now in this links.html i will create html5 sorry html5 and here so let's say that i am having a paragraph element so this is the link to the google home page so click here to go to the to go to the google home page so this is the text i am having so click here to go to the google home page now let's try to see the output if i try to see the outputs how it will look like let's try to see so if we try to open this one so here we are able to see that the text that is click here to go to the google home page now when i am trying to click here something google home page or anywhere so it is not moving to the google home page now what we need to do so here when we try to click here when we click here so it need to move to the google home page now what i can do here i can wrap it with an anchor element so whatever the text you want to wrap it so here i can wrap it like this and we need to provide a href attribute for this one href attribute and we need to give the url address so to to where it need to move so here i can give something like google.com now if you try to see the output how it will look like now the html comes with a default markup for the app hyperlinks like this so it will come in a blue color and also it will be underlined the text will be underlined now when you hover here so you will be able to see hand icon so that means so the page so when you click on this one this page will be moved from, from this page to another page now if i click here it will it is moved to the google.com so like this we need to create the anchor links now another attribute what we have seen we have also seen about the title attribute so let's try to see the title also so here we need to provide so about this information so when the user clicks on this link so what is the information that he used that he that he gets when he clicks on this link so we need we need to explain about the some brief in information so we can provide this title so now what will happen is when you hover here you will be able to see that whatever the title you have given as a tool tip so this is how we will be creating the hyperlinks not only for this like this we can also create for the image tags also for example if you are having like this href we can create a anchor link and inside this one you can provide the image source so we have been discussed about this one image right so we'll discuss afterwards about this image element so we can also provide for, uh, for this block level elements so now if you want to pro- if you want to see like this now we as we don't have any image so we are not able to see so afterwards you'll see about this image element so now you need to understand that for the block level elements also we can create it right now just remember that so whenever you want to wrap the text element when you want whenever you want to uh, link the text in a paragraph element means we can use the anchor link, uh, hyperlink href and it will take the most important two attributes href and the title thing so this is about the creating of the hyperlinks in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to see what are the values that href attribute will try to take it what is the difference between absolute urls and the relative urls let's try to see it hope you understood about this one creating hyperlinks if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you